Hello everyone, welcome to Nerea San channel. I was planning on posting a Nutcracker rehearsal vlog this week. As you may know, we are very busy preparing for our Nutcracker tour this year. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of our Nutcracker, the tour life, and many, many more exciting things. That's gonna happen in the next week, so stay tuned for that. But I thought that for this week's video, I needed to talk about my plans for the future first. Most of you guys, you probably already know that my boyfriend Yamakai and I have started the conversation of our future plans on his channel. And we've been exploring the idea of moving to Japan quite seriously now. In this week's video at Nerea San channel, I just want to be honest with you guys, share my true feelings about it, and clarify some comments that we've been getting on his channel and some DMs that we've been receiving on our Instagram. So yeah, this video is just going to be to clarify some moments and to share my honest thoughts with you guys. So as you guys can imagine, this topic takes a lot of time to discuss, to share our thoughts, to think about it, and to communicate with each other, to explore all the possibilities, the plus, the minus, the what if, just to be prepared to face any kind of situations in the future. But of course, we cannot share all of our conversations on YouTube because we talk about it 24-7 in the car, at home, on our walk to the grocery store. Sometimes the clips that we upload online may be a little bit confusing for some viewers or sometimes our expressions might be taken in the wrong way. So I just wanted to clarify some moments. So the current situation right now is that we are still exploring all the possibilities, we keep talking about it, but the most important thing is that we want to do this together. So it's not like Yamaka is deciding for me or I'm totally against to his ideas we are just trying to figure it out sometimes it seems like he's sharing all the positive thoughts and I'm just being negative about it but the truth is that I'm just sharing with him my worries and I do that to see how we could figure that out because I feel like it's way better to communicate to express all the feelings that we have because if you try to keep them for yourself, that's when the bigger drama will happen, right? It's very important to stay honest and open with your partner, in my case, Yamakai. To be honest with you guys, I was planning on staying in the US and I was already making arrangements for our lives here. So of course, it took me by surprise when one day Yamakai shared that, look, we can make this happen in Japan we're gonna have all these opportunities and actually our life is going to be better I was already kind of imagining our future together here that's why I did have to take some time to see the bigger picture not just for us but also for Eder and Keita and for our future family so after talking a lot with Yamakai-san about this we both agreed that our quality life would be much better in Japan and I was actually reading some of your comments and some of your DMs saying that from your past experiences you would recommend living in Japan rather than the US. I also want to take a moment to thank all of you because reading your comments of support means a lot to us and also for me to read your experiences is also super helpful because we are in our 20s so of course some of you guys may have way more experience than us so all your comments are always super appreciated. I love reading your advices and your recommendations and just your thoughts in general. So moving to Japan in the future, it's kind of confirmed already. I agreed on it. It's just about the timing. It's just about when this will happen. That's kind of my concern right now. But I'm actually super excited to move to Japan, to be closer to you guys, to experience a different life there. So I'm super excited for that. Yamakai, of course, always thinks about 
the best for both of us but sometimes he doesn't communicate with me so that's why sometimes i'm a little surprised when he expresses his feelings like very strongly sometimes that can seem like he's just thinking about himself but actually he's thinking for the both of us so i know that he wouldn't make anything to make our lives together worse quite the opposite right we are always trying to make it work together i also read some comments that suggested for yamakai to move to japan before me and for me to join him later but to be honest with you guys that's probably not the solution for me i do need yamakai by my side and he needs me by his side so we don't do good with long distance relationships and talking about timings another topic that was brought in his videos was the marriage situation and i did tell him that before moving to japan i want to make sure that we are going to stay together right so for me marriage is the symbol of unity. I didn't want this special moment to be rushed and maybe for him to propose if he's not ready. I wouldn't like that for us. So that's why it's all about the timing on when the proposal is gonna happen, when we'll get married, when we'll be moving to Japan. So I guess that's the main concern right now. We also talked to my parents and they trust Yamakai a lot and they know that he's responsible and again, he wouldn't do anything to hurt me. So they are both on board for us to move to Japan. These kinds of decisions are quite tough to talk about, right? You want to postpone this to talk about it later, but it's actually important to be on the same page and to share our current thoughts with each other. So that's what we are doing and that's what we will keep doing. So of course we'll be sharing with you guys if anything changes. So yeah, these were my thoughts on this huge topic. I think no matter where, US, Japan, Spain, or at the end of the world, we would try to make the best for our future together. That's our goal. And also for Edra and Keita, <laughs> we also need to think about them as well, right? They kind of have a boat <laughs> as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As I said in the beginning, we are currently super busy with the Nutcracker. So stay tuned for the content that is gonna come up in the next few weeks. If you don't wanna miss it, please channel like Toroku Onegaishima, subscribe to Nerea-san channel. And again, thank you all so, so much for your support, for your loves, for all your positive energy that I feel it through the camera. <laughs> so, arigato gozaimasu for always supporting us. It means a lot to me. And we'll keep in touch about this topic. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.